morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, I hope you had a, a blessed week. I hope you had a week filled with the presence of God. And, and I hope you were inspired and encouraged and motivated this week to go out and to display what you believe and who you believe in. Uh, this morning, I just want to pause a little bit with the uh, Acts New Testament teaching and just share a tiny little um, testimony. I have shared it before. I just felt led again this morning to share it again. The Bible teaches us that Jesus says that he is the way, he is the truth, and he is the life, and no one will go to the Father except through Him. It is excessively important for us as um, sons and daughters of God to have a intimate, personal, one-on-one -on -one relationship with Jesus. Because ultimately, John 10 teaches us that Jesus is the, the gateway, the door to go to heaven, to go to the Father. If I do not know Jesus... I will not get into heaven one day. It's as plain and as simple as that. And I can remember many years ago when I first came to salvation in our hometown, I was working under the Satanists there. And because I had a relationship with the police occult unit at that stage, they would allow me to speak to some of the Satanists that they had arrested uh, for, for various charges. And... I can remember I was sitting in a prison cell one evening speaking to a satanic high priest at that stage and just asking him why has he chosen that life? Why did he choose to go down that, that lifestyle? And the one thing he answered me, I'll never forget in my life, he said to me, I chose to do this. Because he said, first of all, he hated God for, for many reasons that he gave. And he said, second of all, I want to take as much life as I can away from people. Now at that stage when he said that, I didn't realize what he meant, but I went home and I prayed. And the Holy Spirit revealed to me that the one thing that they wanted to do at that stage was to take Jesus away from the people in that town. And at that stage, a revival had broken out in our hometown, and everyone was seeking the Lord, everyone was, and it was at that stage that the satanic movement was very aggressive. And that's the one thing that he said to me is, I want to make sure that I take as much life away from people as I can. By that he meant he wanted to take Jesus away from everyone that he, he met, everyone that he came into contact with. Now, the question that the Lord laid on my heart this morning for us as a family in Jesus, for brothers and sisters in Christ, is, is simply this. This week that has passed now, did this world in some way um, take... Jesus away from you? Did this world in some way, were, were they um, successful in taking the life away from you? Because that's the one thing that Jesus gives us. It's the one thing that only Jesus can give us is life. The next thing is, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So, did this world... Was this world successful this week in your life or my life in taking us away from the way? And that happens um, so quickly in, in, in our life, in a blink of an eye. Something is set before us and we have to make a decision and we have to make a split decision at that very moment. And at that very moment, that split decision is a fork in the road. And we have to decide... Are we going to keep on going right, which is the Jesus way, or at this very moment to cover myself, to back myself, to, to satisfy myself, am I going to go left? Thinking to myself that 
further down the, the, the line, I'll be able to divert again to go to the Jesus way. So Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So the first one is the way. Where did this world take us off of the way? The second one is the truth. Was there somewhere in this week that the world was successful in diluting the truth of the word of God in our lives? That happens um, often in our lives as well. That happens many times in our lives. Where we are called to stay on the truth. Where we are called to preach the truth. And then there comes a time in our life where this world dictates to us to dilute that truth. And many times that dilution comes in a form of tolerance. So this world wants us to tolerate the sin that it has brought into uh, our, our living space, our living area. And that they want us to tolerate sin because they love sin. So in this, this week, was the, the world successful in taking me away from the way? Was the world successful in diluting the truth or maybe even completely taking away the truth of the word of God? And then the last thing is, Jesus says, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. Was this world successful this week in robbing us of the life? The life that only Jesus could give us. Now that is a question, brothers and sisters, that only we can answer. And I want to invite you this, this morning. Um, tomorrow, here in, in our church, we are going to be speaking on True biblical salvation. What does it mean to truly be saved? To truly one day know that you are secured, that you are going to heaven. And if you've been asking yourself that question, I want to invite you to come and join us tomorrow here at Altham Baptist Church. Because we are going to go through scripture after scripture after scripture showing us what is true biblical salvation? Because there's been many false teachings on salvation. What true salvation looks like, sounds like, acts like. So again, I want to invite you to come join us here tomorrow. Uh, bring your Bible with. We're going to go through, I think there's five or six scriptures that the Lord is going to show us. Uh, concerning true biblical salvation. And then after that, we can weigh our own lives up. Because ultimately, um, we must look at our own lives to see, do they weigh up against the word of God? Don't worry about my, my neighbor. He's got his own life to, to weigh up. So tomorrow after the, the, the message, we can weigh our lives up and we can see, am I really truly According to the word of God, saved, born again, am I truly? If the second coming happens tomorrow afternoon, am I truly secure knowing that I'm going to go to heaven, yes or no? So uh, up until there for, for this week, um, please join me in prayer now. <clears throat> Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for this day. We thank you for the truth of your word. We thank you for your, your Holy Spirit. We thank you for whatever happened in this week, Lord Jesus. That if you allowed us to minister your word and we did it successfully, we know, Lord, that that seed was sown and that you, the Holy Spirit, will water it and cause it to grow. We pray, Lord, that this beautiful Saturday that you will continue to bless us, Lord. Thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of this day. Thank you, Lord, for the potential of this day. I worship you, Father God. I bring you glory, honor, praise, and thanks for everything that you have given us, blessed us with, and encouraged us with, and uh, entrusted us with, and we thank you for that. We pray, Lord, and we ask all of this in the name of Jesus Christ, our only Savior. Amen. Thank you, family in Jesus. I hope and pray that you have a blessed Saturday, a godly Saturday, a peaceful and a joyful Saturday.
And again, I want to invite you, please come and join us tomorrow. Uh, bring your Bible with, bring a friend or family member with. Um, we are one big family here. We are ready to welcome anyone. Um, so until tomorrow, uh, be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.